Hello and welcome to the new training HVDC Systems Complete Guide. My name is Mohammad Kashif and I am your trainer. I am electrical engineer and I have 16 plus years of experience in the field of power plants, substations and power production engineering. I have created this course uh, in detail and explaining each and everything about HVDC systems. I'm also I have started and working in one HVDC substation, which is in Matiari. So I will be keep on posting new uh, tutorial in this regard and keep on updating this one. So let me introduce you about the course content. First of all, I will be explaining you about principle of HVAC systems. So we will give we will take a little look on uh, the existing HVAC, HVAC system and because in the start uh, the power transmission was done in HVAC and later on the HVDC was developed so we will study the principle of HVAC system next we will study reasons for generation done in AC so what are the reasons that AC is prefer actually the AC is the natural generation of the power Next, I will be explaining you about HVAC versus HVDC comparison. So we will take some examples that uh, what are the benefits, advantages and disadvantages of uh, these two different systems. Next, I will be explaining HVAC or HVDC, which is most costlier. There is a calculation and we will discuss which system is more costlier. And then we will discuss uh, uh, in detail the selection criteria of HVAC or HVDC systems. Next I will be explaining you giving you introduction to HVDC systems different component of HVDC systems that is converters, smoothing resistors, harmonic filters, reactive power supplies, electrodes, DC line, circuit breaker. Further, we will discuss and then I will just explain you application of HVDC systems, configuration of HVDC systems. We will discuss monopolar link, bipolar link, homopolar link, multi-terminal link, half wave rectification, full wave rectification, six pulse rectification. Uh, we will discuss about uh, effect of uh, firing angle, DC terminal voltage at sending and receiving ends. 12 pulse converter bridges, control of DC voltage, relationship between DC voltage and firing angle, how does HVDC work, this we will explain you in detail, voltage source converters, inverter topologies, fundamental idea of harmonic elimination, diode clamp multi-level inverter, 5 level DCMLI voltage levels and their corresponding switches states, Fourier analysis, pulse width modulation, switching angle computation, advantages of proposed inverter techniques. We will discuss disadvantages of HVDC also. We will discuss further control of DC system, basic principle of control. We will discuss basic means of control, uh, control implementation. At the end, we will give you conclusion of uh, of, of all about the HVAC and DC system that we discussed and I will have added have, uh, for your interest in this one the case study of uh, Argentina Brazil DC link and the important thing is that uh, one side is at 50 Hertz uh, design at 50 Hertz and another side is designed at 60 Hertz and they both are connected to through DC so this is very fantastic case study then another case study I have included in this training is Nissan River HVDC transmission system case study. Further, um, two more uh, uh, informative videos I have added here is connecting remote power generation to the market through HVDC and explanation of rectifier inverter by simulation. I have added five, six simulations in which I have explained how rectifier works, uh, how rectification is done, how PhD is working, and how full wave and half wave rectifications are in progress. So. This is really uh, excellent uh, training and uh, I will encourage all of you to please uh, enroll in this training and this will be really helpful 
for your future and for your education uh, thank you very much